So here's another quick video for this very easy topic, a video from sixmastoid.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A level maths videos all for free, the entire syllabus, blah blah blah. Anyway, um, so this is about stem and leaf diagram, very easy. A stem and leaf diagram is basically, looks like this, uh, except for that bit, that's the explaining bit. Um, and basically, uh, 0, 4 just means 4, and that means 4 as well, and that means 7. This means 12, 1 and 2 means 12, 1 and 3 means 13, as you can see here. Okay, so it's just basically, uh, a shortened way of writing numbers, okay, obviously putting into categories, so uh, 0 tens plus a number, 1 ten, so uh, 2 tens, the 20 somethings, and the 30 somethings, and the 40 somethings there, okay, and that's a normal stem and leaf diagram. Now, it could have meant, uh, this could have meant 1.2, depends on the key, but the key I wrote here, I said 3 line 5, this line here is this line here, 3 line 5 means 35. Okay, so according to this key, that's how you should interpret this stem and leaf diagram. This is the stem and these are the leaves, the things coming out of the stem. That's the idea anyway. Um, so that's that really. What else can I say about that? Well, the idea, another reason for having stem and leaf diagrams is supposed to be like a bar chart. And uh, in a normal bar chart, you can't actually see the numbers. You just lose that information. You just see a picture. Now, you might want to do that and you might not want to do that. In the case you do want to do it, you can still see, it's basically like a bar chart, you know, the more numbers in a category, you can physically see it, okay, and you can actually see the numbers as, as well, and sometimes they ask that, very rarely, but why? The, the question might be, why would you bother with a stem and leaf diagram? So that's the answer. Now, uh, example number two, you've got a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram where you've got two pieces of information. Maybe this one's about boys and this one's about girls and it could be, I don't know, their weights or their ages or something. And this time I put two line nine the line represents this line or this line, okay, it means 2.9 this time, okay, it can mean all sorts of things, you decide when you put a key, or the question decides and you have to put the right key, whatever. So this is back to back, and the idea is they can compare the two things, go, oh, this is this category's got way more than this one in the girls one, you know, so you can just compare it, but it still means the same sort of stuff, so this means 2.2, this, this bit here means 2.7, and this means 2.9 etc etc very easy